Hi, I'm Sean Casey. I want to talk to you about the importance of separation. You hear that word? It's so important in the golf swing, in any sport, in any athlete's movement, to be able to separate the movement of the lower body from the upper body. In the golf swing, at the top of swing especially, as we're about to make our move down to the ball, we want to be able to start the movement from the ground up. I'm sure a lot of people have heard that, but what does that mean? We want to be able to get some lower body movement, start initiating the downswing before the upper body comes around. Unfortunately, a lot of people can't separate. Either they can't or they haven't trained themselves to do so. And when their lower body moves, their upper body moves too. So they move on almost a one-to-one -one ratio. Lower body moves, upper body moves, and that's why the average golfer comes over the top and releases the club too early. But the better player, the better golfer, can start their golf swing with their lower body and then the upper body comes around after, gives you more power, more speed, and as well keeps the club on a better path. So separation is very important in, in throughout the golf swing, but uh, if you can improve it, it'll really help you get that downswing started properly. and You'll hit the ball a lot further and a lot better.